So in the last lesson, what you will remember is I taught you a few key skills, such as how you can delete bits out, how you can crop bits. Now we did say that one downside of this software is that sometimes it can freeze and crash. All right. So we, I said, save regularly. So you're not disappointed. Now, if I'm going to go on here and I'm going to start recording the sound, that's gone into that layer. So what you need to do is create a new layer. So you can add a new stereo track and then you can click into that and I can start. All right. Now, when you try to export your audio, what you might find is that sometimes it crashes. What I recommend that we should do is flatten the track first. All right. Which what that does is when you're happy, where you're up to maybe a certain point, you can flatten the track that makes it all one sound. So say you've got maybe a quarter of the way through your play, you can flatten it and export it and then continue. So if you go on here, all right, you've got all of the tracks, all right, you can add new tracks in, you can mix and render, you can mute all, you can mute tracks if you want that you don't want to use, all right. But before I export it, what you need to do is go to track, mix and render. All right. So what that should do, sorry, if I go to if I select both tracks there, tracks, mix and render. There we go. Sorry. So you hold down the shift and select the two tracks. And then when you go to tracks, mix and render, it joins those together. Let me do that again. So I'm going to create my new track new track, stereo track. I am recording my sound, but if you hold down shift and select the other track and select that track, can you see they're both turned blue? I can then go to track, mix and render, and it joins them together. All right. Now, when you export, you don't tend to get an error doesn't tend to crash as much. So if I now go to file, export as audio, all right, it tends to work and it will let you download it and it won't crash. All right. You may find from time to time that it does crash, but that will help you keep saving it at key points. So you can download those MP3s you made. And if you want to, then you can just import that MP3 again. So how do I like unsquish? You cannot, I'm afraid. So when you play it, it'll have the backing track as you speak or something. Yeah, you have to get it to a point where you're happy to join it together, all right? And then you can insert that audio again and carry on with the next bits. Okay. So I'm going to stop recording there and I will upload that today.